Welcome back guys to a comparison video. Uh, cracking balls up, cracking balls up. I've just been chatting away to the camera for about three, four minutes. And I've gone to pause it to do the pour of what I'm gonna do. And I've realized I hadn't even pressed fucking record. So that was a waste of four minutes of my life. Anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, comparison video coming up now. And it's gonna be Francis Scanner Vice Beer from the bottle. Uh, these come in at about £1.80 or you can pick them up for for six uh, for a 500ml bottle, 5%. And I've also got a keg of this in the perfect draft now. Uh, six litres of that, £30.50. Take 15% off, you get about four quid off. Plus there's a £5 deposit which you get back once the keg is returned. So you can kind of say that's coming in at around £21. I believe for the same amount of beer in bottles, it's working out about the same. So they're quite even on the price, if I'm correct. Uh, so yeah, haven't got any Francis kind of glasses, sorry. But I've got two Vi High Stefanas. Did have two, had them for about two years and managed to break the pair of them in about a week. So uh, my good lady for, wife got to, my good lady friend, I was gonna say, my good lady wife got them for Christmas for me. So I'm gonna use them. So we've got the same beer going in the same glass. Difference is one's bottle, one's from the keg. So any second now, uh, just incidentally, it's the first beer out the keg, so it's probably going to be a bit more livelier than the bottle. So, uh, so yeah, so that's why I'm going to pour that first because that can settle a bit why this this bottle gets poured. So uh, I'll go and do a pour. I'll pause the video, come back, and we'll carry on from there. Back in the tick. So a lively pour, and then actually just realise that the glass is actually too big to sit on the the drip tray uh, and fill it right up. But that's come out all right. We got about 450 mil in there. So that's looking good, exactly as you'd expect. So we'll get the Francis scanner out the bottle now. The old label, love the label. I do all that crap. Love the old bottle cap as well. So let's get this out, get this poured. And uh, see if I can get something of a similar pour in there, hopefully. Give that a swirl. So, let's try not to get these mixed up. Let's put a bottle that side. I don't know where I am. So, in a glass, uh, pretty much an identical pour. So, awesome pouring by Baz there. Uh, pretty much identical in the glass as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely identical. Uh, I've managed to get probably an extra head, a finger ahead on the beer. But like I said, first pour out the perfect draft system. So we've got sort of most, almost like a, a, an amber, burnt orange sort of color. It's hazy. I'll be honest with you. I can't see any carbonation in that at all. You normally get loads of it racing up. I can't see any in there, but I am seeing the odd little bit from the bottle version go up. The head is, as you can see, the head is holding better on the perfect draft one, which is this one, as opposed to that one that is going down a bit. So, look wise, pretty much identical. Head retention on the perfect draft one is doing a bit of a better job, but they pretty much look identical, as you'd expect. So we'll dive in with the nose on the perfect draft one. Oh, a lovely banana hit there. Clovey coriander. Almost a little bit. You're getting a lovely wheat smell in there. The aroma is quite quite strong on that one. Again, the first pint. So it do, I do find that the first pint out of these machines tends to be a little bit better on the nose. The head actually looks a little bit darker on the Perfect Draft one. So we'll dry, dive in on the bottle one, see what we get there. Yeah, pretty much identical. There may be, maybe I would say this maybe just has that inkling of a little bit more sweetness in the nose. The aroma sort of seems a little bit, not so rich, I would say, on the bottled one. The aroma doesn't seem as rich as that one. Uh, so looks wise identical. Probably with the head retention, I would say this one just kind of wins it. 
on the nose again the perfect draft one for me just about wins it seems to have that little bit more extra sweetness in the nose uh, and certainly in the body sort of swilling it wise I would say so the big test now is to see which one comes out on top so uh, let's dive in with the perfect draft one first A little bit thinner than I was sort of expecting, though I should know now because it doesn't never tends to be really heavy body on it. Uh, carbonate, carbonation almost non-existent in all honesty. Uh, getting a big wheaty taste, coriander. The banana taste doesn't seem in there so much for me. But it is there, and that sweet sweetness of banana really round your mouth at the end. So, cracking beer though. I do love, I do love this one. So we'll dive in with the bottle one now. And again, the head's not holding as well. But we'll see what we get on the taste. Cheers. Totally different experience. Totally different. There was me thinking, this didn't have much of a body. Straight away, granted this is not as cold as that, so it could probably do with being a tad colder. Body, there's so much difference in the body for me. This has got so much more weight to it than the bottle. Uh, and the taste of this one just tastes, how can I put it, almost a little bit, a little bit sort of watery. Uh, but that could be down, I, I would maybe put that down to it not really being cold enough. It has been in the fridge for an hour or two, or a couple of hours actually. But it's not ice cold and I don't think that does it any favours. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, you're getting the clove. You're getting that sort of clovey coriander thing. The banana taste is almost, almost gone, almost non-existent, which surprises me. Uh, and I think that is just because the perfect draft one is so much better. Ooh. You can tell the difference in the weight of the beer from the perfect draft one. Hmm. Yeah, more carbonated, less flavour for me, and almost tastes a bit flat. Almost. Uh, maybe it's all the swilling I've done of it, but it certainly hasn't certainly hasn't held up well you know that's been i've swirled this one from the bottle several times that one i haven't had to do much and it's still holding that head well uh so although they're both the same beers there is a significant difference for me between the perfect draft francis scanner and the bottled version uh and it's looks wise yeah they look the same but you start noticing the differences from the nose you get the difference in the body, you get the difference in the taste. Uh, so for me, the winner out of these two uh, is the perfect draft. The perfect draft, for me, beats the bottled Francis Scanner hands down. Uh, the Francis Scanner is a nice beer. I'm maybe going to put some of its faults down to uh, me not actually having it chilled long enough. Uh, but I still don't think... It would be, excuse me, matching the perfect draft one. You can just tell the difference in the body. Tell the difference straight away, straight away. And even the taste, there's just more, more there. Mm. Yeah. 
that there's there's that much of a difference that when you drink them both side by side that doesn't taste good that well it 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 doesn't actually i'm going to be honest it it doesn't taste good compared to the perfect draft one it doesn't taste good uh so that's this comparison done sorry it's gone on for too long uh hope you enjoyed it though wanted to do it because it certainly highlights how good really the perfect draft is and in general how much better the beer is out of the out of the draft system so uh so yeah that's it hope you've enjoyed it like i said thanks for subscribing uh will i be back with another beer review tonight you never know so uh keep your eyes peeled thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you again another beer review cheers